Hi, Brittany. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? We're great. doing just great. Even now, without John Peterson. Can't believe it. We're yeah, still functioning. He's still under the weather. Oh, <laughs> you know about that. Uh-huh. So, um, so I was hearing some reports around southern Wisconsin this morning of a good deal of fog in some yes. areas. But I guess some of that is already lifting and dissipating. And uh, we're seeing kind of hazy sunshine this morning. And uh, things are looking pretty good. A little warmer today in the low 80s, I guess, right? Yeah. So any fog that is still left, if you see any in your area, it's going to be burned off and gone by 8 o'clock. So we're almost there. Um, But a lot of the state dealing with that. And like you said, today is a nice, beautiful day. We've got sun to start. Highs Mm -hmm. will climb to about 84 degrees. Enjoy it because we take a hit tomorrow. And that rain starts to roll in tonight. So. Okay. Let's go back to this fog for a moment because uh, you used a word there uh, that I, 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 I just want to uh, get specific about this because I've tried to burn fog before. I collected it in a, in a leaf bag and tried to burn it and it wouldn't burn. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, well, uh, weather people always talk about, well, the fog is going to burn off. Well, you can't burn fog. Fog yes, doesn't burn off; it evaporates. The sun burns it, it evaporates. Gordy. You it. were a weatherman. It's evaporating. Do we have to have it's this a, conversation? You don't light a fire with fog. Oh. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> Is it, when did you learn? When did you learn this? Before just, you were a weatherman or after? I'm just giving you some crap. Oh, okay. It's okay. Uh, All right. Yes. She's so, so amused. You can tell. <laughs> She's got a good thick laugh. <laughs> Thank so, you. Brittany, <laughs> There's the real now, one. There's the real one. Now, I uh, also know that uh, some of this weather might get a little stormy uh, tomorrow. Is that yes. Maybe some thunderstorms, maybe some strong storms. Mm -hmm. So what I think is going to happen is I think when this thing pushes in overnight tonight, it's going to start off as just some rain, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but nothing too crazy. I think about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch will be our first round. We'll get a little break. And then what's going to happen is that warm front and cold front actually are pretty tight together. And as they squeeze over southern Wisconsin, you guys are actually Madison is a part of a slight risk tomorrow for severe storms. And... Of course, that's going to be pushing in by tomorrow night. I think that's going to be firing up the worst part of it and then pushing on in to our Friday morning. So we've got a wet next few days and that slight risk. The the main threat is going to be damaging wind gusts with it. I think it's going to line up on that line and kind of push through. Yeah. Tornado season is what in the Midwest? When is that beginning and end? Ish. Ish. Because I know climate change has changed it, but ish. I would say here for us, June, July is probably our biggest. It does roll into August as well. And then we also have a spike in November that a lot of people don't even know. Huh. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, we get these long range forecasts uh, that are looking out <laughs> into the fall and into the winter. And, uh, you know, sometimes those are <laughs> accurate. And a lot of times, eh, it's anybody's guess. But uh, I know the Farmer's Almanac uh, somehow That's plays, so funny. plays I, into that. I've got that. I can't yeah. believe you mentioned that. And, uh, <laughs> Do you look what, at the uh, Almanac? Do you pay any attention as a meteorologist to the Almanac? I have to. I still show you respect do. to the farmers. You got to look at yeah. it, just in case. You got to look at it. Mm-hmm. I, I, you well, know about the stats, but you have a question. Sorry. Well, no, I was just saying what I know about the. I saw a map the other day about the farmers' almanac uh, prediction for winter, and they said it was going to be a little bit wetter than normal around our area. But uh, I, and I don't colder. know. Interesting uh, to hear your take on that, Brittany. You know, I'm going to go ahead and agree with the farmers' almanac yeah. on this one. Yes, oh, I am, yeah. because we are right now in a La Nina watch. So mm-hmm. any time between now and November, we are expected to flip to that. And usually La Ninas give us a much more wetter, active winter with a little bit oh. of colder temperatures in there as well. So, so. I have a La Nina watch, and it, it's beautiful. It's got, it's not uh, what it's we're got talking a about. special leather strap You're on it. Now I want one. I got, no. I got it for Christmas, <laughs> and it was beautiful. So I thank my I have family. a real question. La Nina, <laughs> La Nino, opposites. Yeah. Are we either in one or the other always? No, we're in a neutral You're phase right now. Laughing at your own jokes. Oh, <laughs> there is a neutral phase, so we're in a neutral phase. I see. So La Nina mm. coming yep. up, and mm-hmm. that will bring more wet, more snow, more cold. Hopefully, winter for Wisconsin because we completely yeah, skipped mean, it last year. So yeah, bring it, please. It, exactly. <laughs> it was the easiest winter I have ever experienced anywhere. Absolutely. And I'll bet you're a skier. I'll bet you're a cross country skier or downhill oh, or maybe both. Right. How can you tell? Yes. Well, you're so active, and I, you know, I salute you for that. So I think Thank she's you. a snowshoer. Yes. Snowshoer. <laughs> How about yes. snowmobiles? You good on a snowmobile? 
Absolutely. Anything you involving do. snow, ice fishing, all of that, snowmobiling. I used ice to have fishing. one. I don't have one anymore, but, you know. You know, <laughs> we live in a place where it snows. One cannot complain about the snow. Right. No. One should not. No. It's get, you got to get active. Just get out in it and enjoy it. I want to start skiing again this year. So you got more on the Farmer's Almanac while we have Brittany? Brittany, I don't know how soon you have to leave for your next yeah. report. Here. Probably has things to Can you do. hang with us for a minute? I just got a report on the elections. No big deal. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Right. I'd rather yeah. talk weather. No, I have She's time. She's also a Let's news chat. person for civic media, of okay. course. Well, they're saying a season of rapid fire storms will bring both rain and snow with little down time in between they're saying it's just gonna hit us and keep hitting right, for okay. the winter for the winter okay so they're saying that jet stream is going to line up right here for us in wisconsin consistently and we're barely going to get any wobbles in that ao <laughs> i'm glad you, you brought that. the jet stream up i i'm a big fan of the jet stream but you know whether people don't they ignore it anymore i don't know why why is that i don't know i, I still the, talk about it yeah good because I like to see it on the maps because it all swirls around different colors. Again, <laughs> flashing back here this morning since that story about LSD. Oh, okay. Lord. All right. What else on the Farmer's Almanac? Well, this quickly? I found the most interesting. Okay. They actually said they especially highlight the time frames from January 20 to 23 and 24 to 27. They're down to three-day increments of prediction. Okay. You can't do that. I know you can't mm -hmm. do that. No. no. No, they can't. Nobody can. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All we can say is La Nina is probably this year, and that's going to bring a bunch more. Yes, yeah. So okay. I'll agree with them on that. I don't know about that increment and how rapidly, but, you know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to keep this and put it on my calendar. If it happens, we're all going to respect the almanac a little more. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Brittany, thank you very much. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Have a good day. You too. Right. Thanks, guys. That's Brittany Merlot, our civic media meteorologist, coming up. We've got Meteor World right around the corner. Stories about uh, super.